hello hello guys uh here we have an hp uh motherboard anyway this machine it does turn on but after 10 minutes or less it uh, switches off without any any reason i did change the the thermal paste uh, and i cleaned uh, the fan but there is no lucky after 10 minutes or so the machine goes off all right let's uh let's remove the CMOS battery so what i'm gonna do here it's easy guys let's uh i think i'm gonna start with a cold scanning i believe there is something on this port within the board that is causing a pc to turn off but uh let's have a look so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna connect an hdmi cable and then maybe we will have a display because i want you to see and to be sure that the machine is working 100 percent so you will see uh, let's go ahead let's see so what we need we need to we need a charge actually we need a dc in check we have to connect a dc in check there and then uh, from there you will see that the machine it's working 100 percent it's turning on uh, let's connect a dc in check this is a cable actually it is for it's for charging a laptop it's where you connect a charger so let's go ahead let's connect a charger we should get a charging light all right there it is we have a light a charging light okay so now let's try to turn on this machine i'll show you how okay let's start first the first thing that you do we have to check for volts check for a pin on the power connector that is uh the pin there should be 3.3 volt so yeah let, let's check okay that, that, that's not the one that's one volt okay the 3.3 let's check the other one okay it's 3.3 let's check the last one 3.3 and the ground okay we have three three point threes uh so now what we do from those three three point threes one of them is the on and off button so you you, you have to turn on your multimeter into a direct mode or continuity mode and then touch it at three point three compare it with ground one prop to ground and touch it there uh, there it is the machine is turning on just like that okay and you, you can see the light led light okay i forgot one thing i forgot to to connect a uh, ram uh, ram memory a ram chip let's connect a ram and then let's see maybe we will have a display i don't know but um we will see on my hdmi display okay let's turn on the machine again you touch it there with one prop to ground the machine will turn on automatically okay and the fan is spinning okay all right so as you can see guys there is a uh, there is no display it's just blank anyway there's something getting hot uh, around here around the cpu but the cpu it's warm but above the cpu there's something hot on those two titulum capacitors uh, let's have a look uh okay so now what we do it's easy let's do a cold scanning first thing we have to remove a cpu you know why i'm removing the cpu right uh, and you know why i'm removing the ram i have to be sure that there is uh there is no pga chip you know pga chips they can um, they have a low resistance to ground so when measuring there with uh, pga chips connected you won't get a proper or a correct reading so it is necessary to remove 
all the PGA chips if you can like the RAM if the RAM is is removable and remove the CPU if the CPU is removable as well you have to take it out and then um, do the measurement without the CPU and without the, the RAM so what you do you turn your meter into uh, continuity mode and diode mode you put one prop to ground let's go ahead one prop to ground start there okay here is fine 449 it's pretty good uh, yeah but if you are getting 100 and something then it means there's something wrong but 400 300 even 500 apart it's all good even here 452 this is super sharp let's check the other one 478 uh, this is super good okay there we go we have a problem there that has a low resistance to ground see there uh, 18 it's very 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 bad but I believe it's, uh, it's, got, it's got to do with a PCH maybe it's connected with the PCH but let's check uh this one check this coil okay this is fine i think we should go back and then uh check near the pch i don't see anything fine on this side so i have i will have to flip the board around okay anyway let's check those two tetelum capacitors remember they were getting extremely hot not extremely but hot so anyway they are fine they seem to be fine even the chip there now let's 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 check again still we have uh now it's 20 not 18 We have a low resistance to ground so this is caused by a pch as i've said before uh the pch i, I believe it's the pch causing the thing so what i can do is we can check the pch we can check the components around the pch uh components like the we can use the coil the inductors near the pch or we can use the ceramic capacitors to check if there is any any relationships between uh, that inductor the 3.3 .3 volts and the 5 volts are fine let's start with the battery the battery is fine the battery side uh, is good now let's check the 3.3 3.3 is sharp 337 let's check the 5 volts 372 okay this is nice this is lovely uh, uh, let's check this one uh, but still we have a problem there of 20 or 21 ohms <laughs> okay I'm gonna try to focus let's see let's try let me try to zoom in <laughs> okay okay guys so now what we do I'll remove those two let me show you uh, these two mosfet there i can't focus i need to remove those two mosfets and then again we will check on the inductor without those two those two uh, mosfets if we still have a short there it will mean uh, the short is not coming from the from the mosfet actually it's not a short as such but there's something pulling that power uh very 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 low to to ground and, and and the only thing that can do that is the pch okay and i'm not saying there's something wrong with the pch as you can see with uh, 21 uh there's nothing wrong let's check there
okay guys i have removed those two mosfets so we'll have to test uh check the board without those two mosfets uh let's start with an inductor so one prop to ground and then you touch with the other prop and see what value you are getting let's 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 check let's check let's check here oh because there i don't think there's something wrong there so what i'm gonna do let's uh, let's check the measurement uh on the inductor and see what value we are getting there ah it's now it's even worse 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 now it's 16 and before it was 21 so let's check this let's start with this mosfet 517 oh this is good let's reverse the props not to reverse the such but you can just rotate uh, the mosfet let's check the other one no reading it's good now let's rotate it let's check this is super good okay guys in this case let me explain <laughs> there's nothing hard here to be done there's nothing serious here to be done so what i'm gonna do i will just change the ram uh change the cpu because uh, i can't really conclude and say the problem is coming from the pch but there's nothing nothing serious i'll just change those things change the ram change the cpu and then uh, if it's not the cpu then uh probably should be a rem but this is there's nothing serious believe me this is not a serious thing you shouldn't contain yourself or, or worry yourself too much about this this repair because it's just a basic stuff i'll just try a different cpu and a different ram i know for sure that the machine will work 100 percent because it does turn on no issues and it is but it doesn't last the other things doesn't last long and uh, i touched the cpu there wasn't uh, any too much heat yeah it was heating up but it did not heat it was just warm normal warm so yeah and the fan was spinning i can't say the problem was the fan maybe the fan was faulty you also the fan was turning on so guys anyway before i go don't forget to press the subscribe button